Public Libraries, my name is Miss Karina, and today our story time is all about dogs. So if you have that fluffy friend, come grab them and have them sit next to you during our story time today. Today we will be reading I Am the Dog by Daniel Pinkwater, illustrated by Jack E. Davis. to change places. What do you say, Max? Tomorrow you can be me and I will be you. Max liked the idea. So Max slept in my bed and I slept on the rug. When we woke up in the morning, Max was a boy and I was a dog. I stretched and yawned and scratched behind my ear. All things I'd seen Max do. I could tell already that I was going to like being a dog. Max was in the bathroom, brushing his teeth. I think he ate a lot of the toothpaste. We went downstairs. The family was having breakfast. Have some cereal, dear, my mother said. I am the dog today. And could you put it on the floor in the bowl? Certainly, my dear. Would you like your orange juice in a bowl, too? Max sat at the table and ate with the family. He liked that. Oh, look at all the bacon he's guzzling down. May I run around the yard now, I asked my mother. Yes, my mother said, but stay away from my bushes. My mother drove Max to school. The kids were all happy to see Max. They all wanted to pet him and feed him things. I could see that Max liked being in school. After school, Max took me to the park. The park is great when you're a dog. There's so many things to sniff. There's so many trees. I chased a squirrel, I met another dog, and a lady gave me a cookie. Max threw it off, I ran after. He threw it again, and I ran after it again. He threw it again, and I ran after it again. For some reason, I never got tired of doing that. When Max got tired of throwing the ball, he scratched my ears. I liked that too. At home, I got in trouble because I ate Max's homework. The dog ate my homework, Max said. My teacher will never believe this. My mother made me go stay in the garage for one hour. Max got to play video games. My father came home and I was happy to see him. I jumped up and I kissed his face. Look, Jacob, you got kibble for supper. I love kibble, I love kibble, I love kibble. I could eat kibble every day for the rest of my life. I don't even know what kibble is, but I love kibble. Max had spaghetti and meatballs. He liked it too. After supper, I felt like running around the yard again. In the evening, the family was together in the living room. My father sat in his armchair. He watched TV. My mother read a book. Max had to do his homework all over again. I snoozed. I was happy. That night, I slept in my bed and Max again slept on the rug. When we woke up in the morning, Max was the dog, and I was the boy. That's how things are supposed to be. But both of us had learned something. Being a dog is better. The end. And next for story time, we have a song to sing called Five Happy Puppies. It goes kind of like uh, the monkeys jumping on the bed song. All right, so we've got Five happy puppies were playing in the sun. This one saw a rabbit and he began to run. Four curious puppies were playing in the sun. This one saw a butterfly and he began to race. Three excited puppies were playing in the sun. This one saw an orange cat and he began to chase. Two bored puppies were playing in the sun. This one tried to catch his tail and he went round and round. One little puppy sitting all alone. He was so quiet, he never made a sound. Well, thank you for joining me today. 
Uh, if you're interested in this book, you can come to the library and check it out. And on three, we're all going to wave and say goodbye. One, two, three, bye.